Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So for my video today, we're gonna make a birthday cake. We're gonna make a Brazilian style cake called Prestigio, which is a chocolate cake with coconut filling and then chocolate on top. It's so delicious. It's also a candy in Brazil that they put into, you know, they imitate into a cake. This is how good it is. It's also my favorite and it's also Brazilian's favorite, I think. So it's my daughter's birthday this weekend, so I want to bring, you know, we're going to go for dinner, then we're going to go to her house for coffee and cake, so I'm going to bring the cake. I love to make cakes from scratch because about 20 years ago when we moved to the United States and uh, it was one of my daughter's birthday, uh, I went to a bakery and I was trying to find my mind, I was trying to find a cake that was similar to Brazil. I couldn't. The cakes here are good, but not the way I'm used to it. So I was like, oh, I will have to start making. So I started making cakes for, you know, for birthdays, for my daughters, for my husband. And then people, they tried the cake, they were like, oh, you should sell cakes. So then I started to sell cakes also. So I sold cakes for a while. So I'm very excited to show you guys, you know, the process from start to finish. So let's do it. Okay, so let's start the cake. I have some tips. Every time I'm gonna make cakes, I always take the eggs at least two, three hours before. I like to make my cakes with the eggs room temperature. I sift both my sugar and my flour. And then the order of things, I always do the eggs and sugar first, and I cream that into like a very like creamy consistency. Then I start adding the other things. So I think little things like this makes all the difference for a fluffy and delicious cake. And Brazilian cake are not very moist like American cake because usually American cake, they use butter. We don't. But we moist our cake with some kind of liquid after. So that's the reason why it's a little bit drier, but once you moist with the liquid, it's delicious. Okay, so let's start with the eggs. I have four eggs here. And again, I'm gonna put all the recipes on my uh, description box. So my eggs will take it sure. Here I have the sugar, it's about a cup and a half of sugar. And I always like to sift it. See, that's the reason why I like to sift it. I don't know if you can see all this very thick sugar, this weights, weights down the cake. I don't want that. Okay, so now I'm gonna beat this. So this is how it looks like right now. And I'm gonna leave here in two. It's like creamy and it's like a very pale yellow. See? It's like very fluffy and pale yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna start adding the flour and the milk, like alternating a little bit of flour, a little bit of the milk, and then I beat. A little bit of flour and milk, and then I beat. I already sifted the flour. Uh, oh, another thing that I forgot to say is that I love to use cake flour instead of just, you know, regular flour. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it low and start adding it. So now the last thing is the chocolate. I like to use the baking, cocoa baking, and then vanilla. And then the last thing is the baking powder. I never put baking powder and then mix a lot. Baking powder is always the last one. You don't want to mess with it. You want to put the baking powder, just mix the baking powder and put it in the oven. I'm gonna save two tablespoons of baking cocoa, which is the bitter chocolate and you have to sift it because look at this there's a lot of little things left behind and then some vanilla and like i said the last thing will be the baking powder so let's mix this okay the baking powder is the last ingredient so i'm gonna put it there also sifted then I'm just gonna go put it on the slow just to mix it. There we go. 
my oven is preheated on 350 and I already have my pan that it, I coated with butter and flour. So now I'm gonna put on a preheated oven and we're gonna bake for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's like fluffy. Usually I don't open my oven in less than 30 minutes. If I have to check it, I'll only check my cake after 30 minutes, never before that, because if it's, let's say the cake is, is rising and then you open, you know, it's not time to open yet. You go, you know, everything in the middle will go down and no, that won't be a good thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna start my coconut filling. So for this, I need one can of condensed milk, about one tablespoon of butter, unsweetened butter, and about one and a half cup of unsweetened shredded coconut. So this, I'm gonna keep mixing this until it becomes like thick and uh, like a, almost like a fudge consistency. So I'm gonna be here for a while, maybe about seven to 10 minutes until you see it's the right consistency and then I will show you. Okay, so this is the consistency of the um, coconut filling. See that everything's already incorporated. So now I'm gonna leave this on the side. The cake is almost ready and then I'll come back so we can put everything together. Okay, now my cake is ready and it's very nice and puffy. So now I'm gonna leave here until it's not as hot because I just, of course, took it out of the oven. Then I'm gonna put it on a plate and then we're gonna start putting everything together. So now that it's, it's not too hot, I'm gonna loosen up. Let's see. See that it's already loose. So now what I have to do is cut in half. I know usually Americans, they love to uh, make two cakes. We Brazilians, we don't do that. We cut in half and then we put the filling on top of the half. So let me go in the middle here. With this thing here. <laughs> okay, so now this part here, I'm gonna moist. Over here, I have about half a cup of milk half a cup of coconut milk, and just a little bit of sugar. This is what makes delicious and moist. I think it's good. So now I'm gonna put a little bit on this side too. Just a little bit, not much, because I don't want to break it when I turn on top of the cake. Okay, it's good. So now remember my filling. I left to the side, it's kind of thick. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of coconut milk. And since I have a little bit left of the coconut milk and milk here, I'm just gonna add. I just want to be spreadable. I want to spread inside the cake. Just spread this out. There we go. Now, very carefully, I'm gonna get the cake very carefully. You have to be very careful. See that I have this part here. It's okay because I'm gonna put the, the, the icing. So it'll be all good. Okay, so now we're gonna make the chocolate icing. So over here I have two bars of margarine, half a can of condensed milk, and then three tablespoons of cocoa. Start to mix. perfect consistency to spread on top of the cake and that's what I wanted. So now we're gonna cover the cake with this beautiful icing. I had to take the doily. Remember I had a doily here before? I had to take it out because now that I'm gonna cover the cake, it would be a mess. So I took the doily, now I have only the cake. Spread this first. Okay, 
I like to put to the corners here, like this, so I can do the sides with the smaller one here, like this. So you get it from the top. Top. Top, and then to the sides. little thing here looks very nice it's just like a little thing that you get from the cake store you know like the Michaels or Joann's where they have the cake stuff it's just something that you can spread like it gives like this very nice shape to the cake so now I'm gonna have this little tip from when I used to make cakes like I, I told you um, my bag is is all ripped, so I just got a Ziploc bag. So I'm gonna put a little bit of the icing here so I can decorate like over here. So let's put it there. Okay, now to finish, I'm gonna put a little bit of chocolate flakes. Because we can never have too much chocolate, right? Okay, now for the sides, I like to come next to the sink. So this is the Bon Prestigio. Like I said, I'm not gonna be cutting the cake right now because tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. So I'm gonna bring the cake there and we're gonna cut there, we're gonna try it and I'll be sure to be filming it. This cake is amazingly moist and remember we put the coconut filling on the middle. It's so delicious and I hope she loves it. She always does. Also, I'm gonna be putting the recipe on my description box and if you have any questions, please let me know. So thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Parabéns pra você nessa data querida. Muitas felicidades, muitos anos de vida. Pra mim é nessa data querida. Muitas felicidades, muitos anos de vida. Pra mim é nessa data querida. É pique, é pique, é pique, é pique, é pique. É pique. <laughs> this works just wow look at that what's the test <laughs> what's the experiment mm. is, it, good? is it good me mm -hmm. okay good. Nice happy voice. birthday well, me. Waiting for Thank peace. Peace. i love you yeah. success who else is good?